Hi everyone, welcome to Themes Code. Today in this video training, I'm going to show you how to add a logo slider to a WordPress website using GS Logo Slider plugin. Here is the logo slider we are going to create in this training. I will complete this task in five simple steps. Step 1. I will install the GS Logo Slider plugin. Step 2. I will import a few demo logos and short codes. Step 3. I will add a new logo. Step 4. I will show you how to edit an existing logo. Step 5. I will display the logo slider on our site. Well friends, watch this video training to the end to see how I get the job done. Ok, now let's dive in. Step 1. Install GS Logo Slider plugin. Firstly, let me show you how to install the plugin. As you can see, here I am on the dashboard of my WordPress website. To install the plugin, navigate to the Plugins tab on the left sidebar and then click Add New. Now, to the right, place your cursor on the Search Plugins box. Type GS Logo Slider. Well, friends, here is the plugin we are looking for. As of mid November 2021, the plugin has more than 20,000 active installations on 60 on reviews, as you can see here. Well, now let's hit the Install Now button. Now click Activate. The plugin is activated. Now on the left sidebar, you can see a new menu called GS Logos. Step number one is complete. Step two, import demo data. Now, step number two, importing demo data which includes a few logos and short codes. To do that, click Install Demo. Now, click this Import Now button. Wait a while, it's processing. All the data has been imported. Let's now hit the All Logos tab. And these are the demo logos we just imported a few moments ago. So, the second step of this video training, which is importing demo data, is completed as well. Step 3 Add Logo. Now, on to step number 3. This time, I'll add a new logo. It belongs to one of our clients. Let's hit the Add New Logo tab. Here we can see a new interface to add a logo. So, the GS Logo Slider plugin comes along with a custom post type. Ok, now let's enter the title of our new logo. Let's say it ZQ Shop. Now let's use this box to describe the new logo. Let's type the description. Now, enter the site URL here, which just happens to be zqshop.com. Click somewhere else and the URL is set. Now, explore the existing logo categories here. There are a few categories here. Unfortunately, none of them serve our purpose. So, Let's add a new logo category. Let's name it Client Category. No Parents category is needed. Now, 
click the add new logo category button the new category has been added as you can see here now the most crucial part let's add the logo click the add new logo link click the selected files button let's choose this image now click open the new logo is selected now hit the add new logo button as you see here the image has been added now we are all set adding a new logo itself is very easy and short procedure let's hit publish our new custom post which is our logo has been successfully published step 4 edit an existing logo now step number 4 i'm going to show you how to edit an existing logo let's hit the all logos tab here are the existing logos including the latest one we just created as we hover on it we get to see the links edit quick edit and trash let's click the edit link here you can change the title of the logo let's edit this you can also change the description the client's url the category and edit or change the image here editing an image means clicking the image and changing the fields for the image if you want to change the logo altogether simply remove the current logo first and then upload another i showed you how to upload a logo a few moments ago once you have done all the necessary changes hit the update button the logo custom post has been successfully updated here ends step number four of this video tutorial step five displaying the logo slider on a site now let's start the fifth and final step of this training i'm going to display a logo slider on a page of this site to display a logo slider first we need to copy or create a shortcut let's navigate to the logo shortcut tab scroll down these shortcuts are from the gs logo slider development team let's hit the create new shortcut button now let's name the shortcut as client logo hit the save shortcut button Here is the newly generated shortcut. Now I'm going to show you how to configure the setting options for this shortcut. There are three types of settings here general settings, style settings, and query settings. Let's start with general settings. Let's click the style and theming drop down list. The GS logo slider plugin has a lot of style and theming options. However, you can use only the first four themes in the pre version. To unlock the other amazing features, you can purchase the pro version of GS logo slider. Check the video description to get the plugins link. Okay, now let's get back to the tutorial the past four style and theming options are slider on grid on list on and table on since we are planning to create a logo slider 
Let's keep the default which is slider on. Now the image size drop down list. The available options are thumbnail, medium, medium large, large, etc. Let's choose medium. Now adjust the sliding speed. Let's slow it down a little bit by making it 1000. Okay, 1050 will do. The slider navigation is on by default. I would like to have the navigation activated, so let's keep it on. I want to have the navigator below the slider, so, so let's choose bottom as navigation's position. I don't want to display the logo title, so let's turn it off. Now switch to the style settings tab. Let's set the logo style as default to gray. Use these three options to set the number of logos you want to display at a time. Three options for three types of devices. Let's change desktop logos to 6 and keep the other two as they are. This option is about how many logos you want the slider to move at a time. Currently, it's on as you see here. Let's keep the default. Now, when you click a logo, whether the associated web page will open in the same window or a new tab is determined here. Currently, it's set to new tab. I prefer this, so let's keep it. Now, let's switch to the query settings tab. Here you can set the maximum number of logos you want to display in the slider. Set minus 1 for all logos. Let me do the same. Now you can choose one between descending and ascending orders. Since the descending order is the standard one, I'm going to keep it. Here is the order by option. By default, date is selected. Let's change it to logo name. And in this box, you can choose to display a particular category of logos. I like to display all logos regardless of their categories. So I keep the box blank as it is now. Now let's hit the save shortcut button once again. The shortcut is now updated. Now. Let's see how to add this shortcut to a page. Let's copy it. Now let's navigate to pages on the sidebar. Let's edit the home page. Let's see where we can place this shortcut. This seems to be an ideal place. Let's click this block. Click the vertical three dots. A menu shows up. Now let's hit the insert before tab to add a new block. Click the black plus icon. Search for GS logo slider. Let's choose the block. Now click this drop down list and see the available shortcuts.
Let's choose this shortcut to display. Now hit the update button. Let's view the page. And here is our logo slider. Nice and smooth. Okay guys, I believe now you can create a new logo slider and display it on your site. So that's all for this video tutorial. If you learned anything new today, smash the like button and leave your comments. Your likes and comments will inspire us to create a lot of content like this in the upcoming days. Hit the subscribe button as well in case you haven't yet. Also click the notification bell icon to watch the new videos from our channel right after publishing. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.